Welcome back to Raid Shadow Legends. We are here to talk about Countess Licks. 150 ancient shards that guaranteed to get a legendary champion. It's a new banner summons, which they've been doing banner summons in Epic 7 since release, and I played that for quite a long time. They are worth it. And I want to know your opinion on this subject because I think some of you out there don't like it. Here's the first thing, and it's not to be an ass, but if you are free to play or a low spender, it doesn't matter. It doesn't affect you. It will never affect you because all these whales have more champions and more access to resources and everything else than you will ever have. What it does do, though, is for people who do spend or even you low spenders that can save up 150 if they continue to do this every 10 times summon, gives you an opportunity to get a guaranteed summons, a return on your money so you don't feel bad about spending in this game. It's great. I love it. I hope they continue to do it, but you let me know how you feel down below. Hey, it's a gotcha app game. Every single gotcha app game is not friendly to free to play. It's all about premium play, pay. You pay to win always, always, and forever is the way it is. So if you want to play it as free to play or low spender, then you enjoy the game. You always enjoy the journey. That's the way it is. But they did do really smart with these banner summons and they made it here. This is what really made it happen for me. Right here where it says summoning Countess Licks on your 150th shard will not reset your mercy system. So if you pull 150, you don't get a legendary in there. You're to, at 220, you're guaranteed to get a legendary so you'll be ready. I know, timing was terrible on this. Timing was so bad on this. Because we just had a weekend of two times for everything. They didn't tell us about this so we had no time to prep. And then they threw it on us. Right before two days, I mean in two days we're going to have a fusion champion coming out where we're going to have two different summons for that to get fragments. So yes, I know the timing was very, very bad. But as far as the champion goes and as far as banner summons go, where we have the banner out there where you're guaranteed to get a champion, I can tell you right now that we're never going to see a crazy champion in there. We'll never see a Valkyrie. We'll never see a Duchess in there. It's just not going to happen. They're not going to put any of these power players in here. They'll put something like this. Because if you don't have it like me, I'll go after it. Because again, it's a good return on my money. And I will tell you, when I put up a summons video for this, I got really lucky. Got two other legendary champions on the way to get her. And they were two non-dupe legendaries. So I was super, I was on stream. We were doing some other people's account. I was jumping up and down. I was super excited to do summons for this. Plus, I knew, like, the first summon event we did, or the first account we did yesterday when this went live... We got two legendaries before we got Countess. Actually, we got Countess on 140. So we got three legendaries before we got to the guaranteed one. And then once we, if, if you get her on the way up there, then she disappears. So we got her at 140. The deal disappeared. I thought we were going to get her at 140 and then again at 150, we get a guaranteed her, but it doesn't work that way. But that's fine. We got two other legendaries along the way. And I told everybody else that I was about to do, you know, we make a list for summons that counts to jump into. I told them all. This is not going to be your luck. We're going to get some cool epics along the way, maybe. But at least you know a return on your money at 150, you're going to get this girl. And it does not count against your pity system. You're still at 150 or whatever you were at. And then at 220, you're going to get another one. But keep that in mind, that they're never going to have any kind of power players up here. I'm telling you, for a banner summons, you're never going to see Siffy if they ever do it for Void. You're never going to see Duchess, Valkyrie. You're not going to see any of those high caliber Trunda, just forget it. If you think a Trunda is ever going to be there, it's not going to happen. Or even a Mountain King. I would love to see a Mountain King with 150 because I don't have one. And he's such a beast on arena defense. Just in general, he's a beast. It would be so good to see either one of these, but I don't think it's it, it won't happen. It just won't happen. I think that would be... that. It's not that it would be too much. It would actually be a good thing. I don't mind that. And that's the thing. I don't mind it. And now we can save up. Will it cost you $150 if every single day you get that $1 deal. There's a $1 deal in here for one shard, I think, and you get a couple gem. So if you saved up, if you're a low spender and you actually save up your ancient shards or you're doing Ultra Nightmare and Nightmare and you save up from that and then every month at reset, we get ancients through here. We do get ancients going through dungeons. So then you would have to save and make sure you spend wisely on the fusions that we have pretty often. And then you'd have to make sure you save up and figure out what's going to be the new banner person, right? The new banner summons that we'll have here. I already did it, so unfortunately I can't show you it, but you know, if you're in the game, you've seen it, you've seen what it looks like. It just says zero of 150, and once you get to 150, you get Countess. And that's what we did. We got her. It was amazing. They need to do this. I hope you agree with me, but they need to do this every 10 times. And they need to give us a little heads up on maybe who it's going to be. Maybe they could tell all content creators, like they could have told us this week, when they told us what the 10 times summons were going to be, they could have thrown in there, hey, 
We're going to do a new thing with a banner hero. And if you summon 150 ancients, you're going to get her for free. It doesn't do the mercy system. They could have let us know and they could have done better timing because we just did the two, two like everybody liquidated all the shards we had. So I get it. I understand. It's not, it's not if, and even if you could get her and you're normally a spender, but you already spent your amount for the month or for the week. I know it's bad timing. It really is, but it's okay. She's a cool champion. You're going to see my guide on her. I did her solo, and then of course we'll play her with Astralon. You don't need these champions for speed runs right now. Now that's not to say that later on when we have stage 25 of dungeons coming out, that we won't be, you know, won't have a good benefit from something like this. You might, you never know. You might have a great benefit to help you get through the game. But still, Sile the Drakes, we get her as a long reward. She is still the best one to ever use. And I'm telling you, with Sile the Drakes, and if you're lucky enough to finish Faction Wars and you have Lydia with Seer, you're still going to speed farm through everything, even at level 25. I'm sure of it. But these can help you out. And this lady can do some lockout in Doom Tower. She can. She could do the pushback and the slow speed. This buff doesn't work with Gurp Tuck. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Just wait for my guide. I've got a guide coming out on her, just her by herself. And then we'll do a guide with Astralon and her together. But I've done a lot of things with her. I've got a rare that works wonderfully with her. You want to run this rare with her all the time. We get that cooldown right here on this uh, last skill. The one rare that I run with her just makes it so much smoother for everything she does. Am I telling you to go out and grab her? I don't think you need her. She's not one of those champions that are like, hey, go out and get it. You got to have this champion. But if you are a spender, then yeah, you're going to have fun opening 150 knowing that you're going to get a guaranteed legendary just like i did in epic 7 back in the day because i had a higher chance to get that legendary and then if i didn't get it after so many summons i was guaranteed to get it so i was fine in epic 7 every banner summons i was okay with spending because i knew i had that fallback right we had that safety net that we're going to get something for our money and it's great for this type of game i wish they would have done it sooner I really wish they would have done it sooner, but it's cool. Now I just hope they keep up with it. I hope they keep doing it. And I do want to know your thoughts. Don't just tell me, ah, it sucks. It's pay to win. First off, everything is pay to win. Every single one of these games is all pay to win. These things don't really affect you. This is part of the game so that spenders can spin, get a champion that, again, you don't have to worry about. They're not going to have a Crisk on there. They're not going to have a Crisk for us to do this for. I'm telling you, they just wouldn't do that. And I'm not opposed to that if they did it because then people could save up and be prepared for it as long as we know. As long as we know about it, if they popped, like if this would have been a Chris this weekend, let's just say that if this was a Chris this weekend and they didn't sell enough void shards to be able to actually get him and we would have had to save up and some people were able to get him because they just for some reason saved and didn't care, then yeah, I think a lot of people would be pissed off because we couldn't buy enough. We, we wouldn't have access to enough, right? And we wouldn't be able to get Chris and then we didn't have any heads up. So all of us would be like, oh, whoa, come on now. <laughs> What's up with that? But if we know, right, if we have the heads up of what's coming, 150 agents is not that big of a thing. We can open up 150 agents, spend $200, $300 on this game, and never get a legendary champion. It happens all the time. Now we have a fallback. It's a great thing. It's very exciting, I think. Let me know your opinion. But if you put something in here, tell us your argument. Like, Tell us why you think it will adversely affect you in this game. Why is it affecting you? Like, why is it messing with you in the game for this that a Countess Lix is coming out? And you know that they're not going to throw a Trunda or a Duchess. They're just not going to do that. It won't happen. I'm telling you, it's all going to be like lower tier legendaries or something that at that time that they're not mainstream. That they're, they're not in game. Now, that again, it doesn't mean that later on they couldn't be mainstream. They couldn't be great legendary champions. New content comes out. New things happen. But... Let, just let me know. Let me know how you feel about it because I think it's a wonderful thing. Thank you everybody for watching. Appreciate your time. Please subscribe if you haven't and I will see you all in a video soon.